Hello! Today we are going to be looking at solving inequalities using our algebra tiles. So we've already solved equations using algebra tiles. You should feel somewhat familiar with this. Um, we'll just start with an inequality. Notice that the inequality mat is different than the equation mat because in the center there's um, a blank spot. So we can either put less than, greater than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. So those are our inequality symbols. And I'm going to actually be working these problems out using um, a sheet of paper as we go. So I like to show my steps as I go. So the first problem, this is just a given problem, is x plus 3 less than 4. Now I've already got that built out for us. So the first thing I would do is remove 3 from each side because I'm trying to isolate um, the variable, which is x. So x is less than 2. And then on my paper, to show that, I'm going to use a different color. And I will show that I am subtracting 3 from each side, or from each expression, if you want to think of it that way. And that leaves me with x is less than 2. So when I think about um, what numbers could satisfy that, what, what numbers would be less than 2? So 1 is less than 2, negative 7 is less than 2. Um, it could actually be lots of numbers. So if I have a number line and I have 2 here, is 2 less than 2? No. So I'm not including 2, but I'm including the numbers to the left of 2. It could even be like one and a half. So that's my first problem. The next problem is similar, but a little different. This time we're going to do x minus 3 greater than 2. So I'm going to set that up. x and then 3 negatives. And that is greater than 2. So I've got my greater than. Right. So here I need to take away 3 negatives from each side, but I don't have 3 negatives over here to take away. So to make this 0 so that x is isolated, I could add 3 positives, but I would need to do that to each side. Let me just put them down here. I like to do it at the same time. So what I'm doing is I'm adding three positives and adding three positives. And the reason I did that is because these zero pairs can be eliminated, leaving me with um, x is greater than 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So numbers greater than 5, it could be 6, 7, 10 million, um, 5 and a half, 5.1. So, the way that looks on paper, I would be adding 3. Because remember, when I started out here, I had this negative, this is what I had to start out, negative 3 or 3 negatives. So to eliminate those, I had to add the 3 positives. And what you do to one side, you have to do to the other to keep it balanced. Maybe we should say what you do to one expression, you do to the other. Okay. At any rate, we ended up with x is greater than 5. So I draw that on a number line. So 0, here's 5. I'm not including 5 because 5 is not greater than 5. So I do an open circle saying I'm starting at 5 and I need all the numbers greater than 5. So that would be to the right of 5. So the number line is an excellent way to indicate those numbers. Okay, so let's move on to our next problem. This time we're going to use a, let's clear this off. We're going to have a coefficient other than 1. So we're going to do 2x plus 1 less than or equal to 5. So first we'll just set this up here. 2x's. Alright, plus 1 
less than or equal to 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the first thing I would do, let's get that down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. I would need to remove 1 from each side because I'm trying, my goal is to isolate this variable. I forgot to put my symbol in there. So I took away 1 from each side, so that left me with 2x less than or equal to 4. Now I would need to separate this into or divide it into two sections so that each x, I can see clearly, 1x is 2. So I've divided it into two sections, leaving me with x is less than or equal to 2. I could even clear one of those off. It's very apparent what we've done. Alright, so we've done that. Um, we'll draw the number line. It's positive 2. And 2 is equal to 2, so this time we color that in to show we're including it. Pull them to the left for all the things that are less than 2. Alright, moving on. Negative 2x plus 1 is less than or equal to 5. So this is very similar to the last problem. We have, except we have had an x as a negative. So I wonder how we'll do that. Plus 1 equals 5. Well, less than or equal to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So in my goal to isolate the variable, Need to take one away from each side. Right. Done that. Okay, that's eliminated, leaving me with two negative x's. And then five minus one left me with four. So now I need to divide it into two stacks. Okay, just like I did before. But now I don't want to know the opposite of x. I want to know x. So I would actually need the opposite of all that stuff, which is dividing by a negative would give me the opposite. Now when I did that, when I changed everything to the opposite, I have to also change this to the opposite. So what I end up with is x greater than or equal to negative 2. So, again, this is what it said. Okay, I was here. Go ahead and clear one of these off. All right. Then, when I changed everything to the opposite, I also had to change my symbol to the opposite. So, at this point right here, at this point, the inequality symbol reversed opposite. And we will continue to talk more and more and more about that as we work through the inequalities part of this unit. So, oh, I forgot to graph that one. Nope. Better graph it. Okay, zero. This time we're at negative two. We are including negative two because if it were equal to, and then we're talking about all the numbers that are greater than. Next problem, we've got two more to do. So we've got the opposite of x plus three greater than four. So let's start with the opposite of x and three. One, two, three. Greater than one, two, three, four. Set those down. Okay, so I have it set up. The first thing I need to do is remove this constant of 3 from each side. Okay, so I've done that. Subtract the 3 from each side, leaving me with the opposite of x greater than 1. Okay, let's get this down. So, opposite. So I want the real x, 
that was the opposite of x. So the value of x, and then I, I just reverse everything. x less than negative 1. And then when I graph it on the number line, there's negative 1. I'm not including negative 1 because it does not say or equal to. And I'm choosing all the things less than negative 1. Okay, final question. We have x minus 3, so x and 3 negatives, less than 4. So I'm trying to isolate the variable. I would need to take away 3 negatives, but I don't have 3 negatives. So another way to isolate the variable would be if I made 0 pairs out of these. So I would add 3 to each side. On paper it looks like this. So the 0 pairs. And I'm left with x less than, because I didn't reverse it, I didn't flip them over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 4 plus 3, 7. Alright, and then here's the 7. I'm not including 7 because it's not or equal to. I'm just including the numbers that are less than 7. So, um, you have access to some virtual manipulatives, and you have these pages that you're going to work on and practice working on your um, inequalities. So.